What up, though, Heist Man, the foe talk that talk ghetto news and opinions. Man, did y'all hear about the police that had to go get called to this man's house, man, to get some protection from a whole crowd of people? It went down in New Jersey, man. I forgot this dude's name. This, what, hold on, let me find out right quick. This dude's name is Edward Cagney Matthews. He had to get police protection, man, because he liked to harass people. Use the N-word and throw all kind of racial slurs and stuff, man. He got caught on camera doing this to another black man. Not another black man, but to a black man. He in this yard, man. That dude at his crib. He over there just firing him off, talking all kind of junk, man. But then the hood seen it on Facebook, you know. And they came out there looking for him. Like, everybody, the whole hood. Say, we, we got to get at you, player. We can't let you just do this to our peoples, man. And that's what happened, man. They came out there, but the police had to come out there and protect them, man. He needed it, too, man. He needed it because it was like 50, 60 people out there, man, ready to get on this dude's head for doing that stuff, man. Like, it said, protests over racial tension in the neighborhood. Mount Laurel, that's what happened at in Burlington County in New Jersey, man. It went down. Um, what I got to say about this is, like, it's good that the police did come out there, man, to help this dude because who know what would have happened, man. They could have, like, I ain't saying who right or wrong. I'm just saying he wrong for doing what he did to get the people out there. He did it, and somebody caught it on Facebook looking at him like, oh, we see you, player. We see you. They had their phone up looking, and they wanted to protect their young people, man. Their, their young dude, man, that, that black dude. I think it was a, um he got arrested earlier during the week because he was messing with some female, some black female out there. And um, he got arrested. They gave him, like, harassment charges, you know, and he got back out. And he went back out there getting right back at it with the people, man. Hold on, let me see this picture. What a picture of He messing with somebody else. It's on their head, messing with them. This dude right here, young black man. And he was just throwing out all kind of little, little jabs and stuff, man, in that man yard. And the hood came out, yo. So big shout out to the hood for coming out there, man, protecting these people. Because we need somebody to protect us, man. That's, that was a big dude, and that's a little dude, man. And um, he probably would have beat that little dude, the little black dude up. Ain't no telling what happened, man. Um, it's just wrong on so many levels, man. Everybody need to, um, you know, digress, relax, chill, man. Like, it's over with now. Y'all go back home. Don't go fight the next neighbor because y'all think he on something. But hey, it's... It's love that they came out there to protect them, man. They seen this on like on TV, like they looking at they on their Facebook and they said, "Hey, man, that's right around the corner for me, man. We ain't finna let this happen to our mans and them." They went out there, man. It could have got nasty though, man. They could have switched it all the way around. You know how them people do, man. But he had police protection, and like I said, I said I think it's a good thing because it could have got worse. It, somebody could have did something. Y'all remember happened to um what's the name Reginald Denny? The truck driver back in the, there's all kind of stuff, man. Y'all do y'all history, man. Y'all know what goes on, man. But we definitely gonna be talking about this Friday right here on this channel because a lot more I want to say about it that I just can't say right now. Anyway, man, like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and holler at your boy, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, subscribe button, notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and holler at me. Join this conversation. Tell me what you would have did. Or tell me what you won't do. I don't know, man. Anyway, holler at your boy. Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Peace.